I do want to thank all of our speakers for participating. You can see that there was a tremendous amount of preparation, but through the course of the day so far, a, uh, a rather natural flow of conversation. So I know some of you are in the audience, some of you are back in the green room, but please join me in a, a round of applause. <laughs> Linda, amazing, amazing. Both this program, the commercial, thank you. And the team. I'm gonna wrap us up here briefly. I'm sure everybody has taken a number of notes. Our hope, as we do in any GE meeting, is that you go through those notes and come away with two or maybe three things that you can do differently, better, maybe you stop doing. Because you're not gonna do 20 things differently or start doing 20 things in the wake of this meeting. There are a lot of dots to connect here. We now all know the answer to that uh, common trivia question, which two stars in American pop culture started their careers in Indianapolis? Who knew Peyton Manning and Wolfgang Puck, <laughs> right, are Indianapolis' favorite sons? I didn't know that. But for me, I think the dots I would connect are probably are three. One is you saw not only from the agenda, but the range of speakers that we had, lean applies everywhere, or at least it can if you let it. So often we're asked, well, what about lean here? What about lean there? I think what you saw, right, from the very start, we didn't expect Commissioner Kavanaugh to talk about lean, but boy, did she, right? And all the way through the course of the day, I hope that this breadth of exposure motivates and educates and enables everybody to begin a lean journey, personally and with your organizations. As you saw, it can be highly impactful and good fun all the way around. I think Bill and Vicente were great finishers for us because they reinforced a point I think we heard throughout the course of the day, and that is any lean journey really begins with us. It begins with us as leaders of our organization. I'm often asked, what's the common failure mode? in a lean journey. And what I've seen over a lot of years is that when a leader aspires to put a team, a department, a facility, a sales group, a business on that path and brings in some consultants and has them dive in somewhere in the middle of the organization, it might get off to a start, but that's all you get. A little bit like what Bill was citing earlier in terms of the Navy's first effort. Leaders have to set the expectation. They've got to walk the talk and stay with it. It is not something that you can effectively implement in any sort of flavor of the day effort. And maybe most importantly, and I'll finish on this point, I think every one of our speakers talked about how important it is to make this a team sport. And we didn't bring Peyton and Giannis in here because of their success both in uh, their individual positions and with their teams, but because of the mindsets that they profess. And when you can make this about the team, you really can do great things. Phil Wickler, I'm gonna embarrass Phil, runs our transformation efforts at GE Aerospace. He shared Monday morning at our aerospace stand-up a wonderful vignette out of our Madisonville, Kentucky facility. We had a week-long Kaizen event there last week, and in the wrap-up, one of our uh, shop floor colleagues said, you know, this factory, I'll try to get this right, Phil, I'm channeling you, this factory is like a bass boat. I love the fish, my ears perked up. I have been the anchor on this boat, holding us back, making us go slow. In the wake of this week, I'm now the motor. How cool is that, right? For that experience to unlock, unleash, a little bit like Lisa's story about Deb at the Cleveland Clinic. And what we're trying to do at GE is galvanize that sort of approach throughout our organization. And that more than anything is what we wanted to share with those of you who are our customers. 
This is how we work. This is how we're trying to do our best every day for you and getting a little bit better tomorrow. And for those of you who are our suppliers, this is the way we want to work with you. Right? We can't do this without you. You can't do this without us. So hopefully you, you come away having a better appreciation for everything happening at GE Aerospace, but also GE Vernova and GE Healthcare. And with that, I want to just thank everybody. You gave us the better part of a day. Fortunately, we, uh, we kept it cool in here. A, uh, an incredibly hot day out there on the streets of New York. Thank you for the gift of all of this time, your participation. We do hope it was worthwhile. We'll see you soon. Safe travels. The first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. But it can be passed on to the next generation.